Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Colu TV. It's our midweek show here and we're gearing up for this weekend's match where we take on Bradford City away. And the big news ahead of this weekend is that we will be announcing our new head coach before this weekend's game. That's all I can say for now, but uh, do keep across our channels, website and social medias and we will bring you all the latest news as soon as we can. Right, on to the show, and we'll be having a look back at Saturday's result with the thoughts of Ross Embleton afterwards. And here's the highlights. Ross, last weekend you were probably out watching a, a, a different game other than Colchester United. It was a fine margin and one aspect of the game that cost us the points. Exactly the same this afternoon? Absolutely, yeah. I think, um, yeah, ultimately it's a, it's a moment in the game. You know, people will point to a couple of chances that we've missed and, and obviously they've broke away as we're chasing the game in the, in the latter periods. But ultimately the defining moment is they've probably shown a little bit more appetite to just go and put the ball over the line in that goal mouth scrambled than, than perhaps we did. So obviously whenever you lose a game of football, it's extremely disappointing. But to lose it in that manner, because I don't think we deserved it, if I'm brutally honest, um, it's obviously, it obviously hurts that little bit more. Uh, I don't know enough about the goal at the moment to tell you who, who was right, who was wrong or, or who could have dealt with it. We picked up the pieces in the second half and defended one quite well. And then obviously nearly got one very similar to, to that for ourselves. But ultimately, it's that disappointing moment that's, uh, that's cost us the point. You must have been really pleased with that reaction, though, in that second half, because we certainly did create chances. And on another day, whilst we probably, you're right, didn't deserve all three points, certainly deserve something. I, I think so. I, we asked the boys on, on, on Thursday for, for a level of positivity, positivity towards the fact that circumstances have changed. And, and obviously it's very diff, diff, disappointing sometimes when a manager changes in the circumstances that it has for us. But we asked for positivity in terms of the way that they went and trained and the way that they uh, approached that now. But we, we've, we've talked a lot about the future. You know, my role at the moment is to help us move forward. Um, and not and not hold out, hold ourselves back. So I think what the boys did show in the second half when we made changes to the shape, when we put people in particular positions that perhaps are not their their their, their favourite one or, or the one where people are used to seeing them, they went and embraced it. You know, took two centre halves off to try and get after the game. Um, brought young Jaden Fevrier come on and made a real impact down the right hand side, at right back in the end, uh, really trying to get back in. So. Yeah, created some, I would say probably created some good opportunities, Greg, as rather than, you know, outright chances. But yeah, still, still very disappointing. Yeah, and for you personally, it's good to be back in the dugout. Yeah, I think from a personal pers perspective, um, 
I have enjoyed the few days in terms of um, the staff at the club are, are, have been very, very supportive. Um, Dave and, and, and Wardy, obviously two people that I've worked that little bit closer with in terms of trying to plan and prepare training and, and the team have been fantastic. So I have enjoyed that part of it. I, I'm not a particular fan anymore of standing out there. Um, my other priorities and my other role are, are things that I, I enjoy that little bit more. But um, as I've said to a number of other media streams it, since the game's finished, is my responsibility. I, I said that on Thursday and I do genuinely mean it, that whatever role I'm asked to do at the club and in whatever way I'm asked to do it, I'll go and do it to the best of my ability. So um, the message to everybody is, is that no, I, I don't particularly enjoy it anymore. But at the same time, if I'm stood in the dugout at Bradford next week, I would have given it everything between now and next Saturday to make sure the boys are boys are very very well prepared and and, I, and hopefully anyone that's seen me work in the last few days wouldn't know that I have that feeling but I, I can't help being yeah. but be anything but honest. Yeah. And in a roundabout way, when you do go back to the head of recruitment role, does being around the group kind of help you without in, a shadow in terms of what what we need around it yeah. and what the new head coach will need without it. a shadow and we, we we want to be progressive as a, as a as a club and and my role is to help us help us achieve that and I'm I was uh absolutely uh, taken away by by the last time I'd done it it really really helped my role because I came out of a three four week period knowing a little bit more about the players their personalities what they were good bad and indifferent were because other than sort of a distance view on on, on everybody, um, I, I didn't have enough experience to to really understand. So I came away from that; it was invaluable. So this is going to be exactly the same again. Um, like like, so, like I say, so far the attitudes of the players have been fantastic, and and hopefully we've put a team out there today that although everyone's gone home disappointed, everybody can look and say, you know what, there's a group of players now that are really focused on helping this club move forward and move in the right direction and uh, I think the second half performance reflected that. Yeah and the positivity is also that in the last two weeks massive disappointment that we've lost both games but it's against two sides we've competed against two sides that are going for a promotion. Yeah and it, uh, a, bit, a little bit like the message I've just given to the players really is that let's put some perspective on it you know we've lost our manager you've had two tough games Include like today and last week against teams that are at the top end of the table, and you've gone and had a right good go in in, in both games. Um, so yeah, disappointing. But I think that probably shows where we've got to or where we're starting to get to is that we're disappointed about losing against Carlisle and, and, and Northampton, and at the same time, not just disappointed by it, but probably got a little bit of a case to be disappointed in terms of the way that the performance was certainly from from my perspective today. Not the result we was looking for, but plenty of positives to build on for this weekend, hoping to get three points at Valley Parade. Uh, Northampton game, much much the same as a Carlisle game. We wasn't certainly wasn't outplayed. And considering Northampton and Carlisle, both two teams that are pushing for automatic promotion, uh, we certainly didn't disgrace ourselves with that performance. Right, the last time we played Bradford, it was an entertaining contest. That was earlier this season with Tom Eastman on target with the late winner. Let's take a look back at those highlights.
taken right footed by Chilvers. Eastman with that air. Tom Eastman has won it for Colchester United. Eastie popping up there, the right time and the right place as we collected our first league victory of the season as the Bantams came to us in August. Obviously no Eastie this weekend, but we'll be aiming for a similar result. So let's get behind the lads for that one. You can phone the ticket office for all the latest ticket info and to get your tickets. And remember, they're just £5 for that trip up to Bradford, but that's advanced ticket sales. Right, it's time for Goal of the Month competition for February. Just a couple of contenders in there, but let's take a look at them nevertheless. couple of contenders there for February's goal of the month but the important thing is that those two goals gave us a very valuable four points. Head to your Cole U tickets dashboard to vote for your favourite. That's pretty much it for now but I'll tell you what's coming up in the next few days here at Cole U. Saturday as we've mentioned the first team are on the road at Bradford City. The tickets are available to purchase from the ticket office for just £5 when you buy in advance. Friday, the under-21s are at home to QPR. That one's at Malden at 1pm, and you can go along and watch that one. Tickets will be available on the gate. The under-18s are also in action this weekend. They are on the road at Millwall on Saturday at the Lions Training Ground in London. Head over to the website to see how to watch that one. And that's about it from me. If you are heading up to Bradford, a safe journey to and from the game. Don't forget, tickets just £5 if you buy in advance. Uh, keep your eyes out on our socials and our website for the news of our new head coach in the next coming days. We'll bring that to you as soon as we possibly can. But until next time, have a great week, whatever you're up to. It's goodbye for now.